Does elitism exist in our world? Elitism, a political and sociological theory, the elite are a small group of powerful people who hold an excessive amount of wealth, privilege, political power, are more likely to be constructed through society as a whole, and therefore deserve influence or authority greater than that of others. The 60 Families Ferdinand Lundberg, published in 1937 by Vanguard Press, Argumentative Analysis of Wealth and Class in the United States and How They Are Leveraged for Purposes of Political and Economic Power, specifically by what the author contends is plutocratic circle, composed of a tightly interleaved group of 60 families. Lundberg asserts that a small group of 60 interleaked American families control the mainstream media the United States economy, and have unchecked influence over American political institutions. He goes on to claim this nucleus of 60 families is supported by a larger group of 90 families of secondary prestige. He also included that some of the families are the Rockefellers, Morgan, Ford, Vanderbilt. They are also behind big oil, big pharma, food, and other industries that are becoming more transparent as of late. Harold Leclerc American administrator declared that the American young people had to start their careers at the bottom of an impossibly long ladder of a great corporations dominated by America's 60 families. John D. Rockefeller, founder of the Standard Oil Company, which dominated the oil industry and was the first great U.S. business trust. By 1882, Standard Oil had near monopoly on the oil business in the United States. By then, Rockefeller had an immense power of wealth. In 1902, when John D. Rockefeller created the General Education Board, but what Rockefeller said was really concerning. He quoted, I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. It makes me think, when I was younger, how it was so easy to believe things as you were told. In middle school, for example, I and many of my classmates were told Christopher Columbus was some sort of hero in United States history. But there is a part of the story that was not told and enslaving the Native Americans, using border force to take their land away. This speculation raises a question to me. How many times has this happened before in schools, social media, and the news? Putting information of what they want you to believe. What if their people with bad intentions are in control of our schools, social media, the news, the economy, and food supply? The root of, for many people's intention is driven on one thing. The love of money. How many times have we learned about corruption when it comes to people in power such as government and big corporations? Who can we really trust nowadays? Majority of us trust the government because it's, it's professionals that have the best intentions of our lives, or at least that's what we think. We trust medicine because professionals prescribe it to us, therefore we do not question it. In the pandemic, CDC was very controversial. How do we know if Dr. Fauci had the best intentions for us? Regarding vaccines, not enough time to develop and research for a vaccine. When the vaccine development is a long, complex process, often lasting 10 to 15 years, and involves a combination of public and private involvement. Yet, COVID vaccines were done about a year for the population. It was pushed to combat COVID. If you want it to work, you must take it. If you want to go to the school, you must take it. Epicurus believes that our fear of death is the worst fear we face in life because it pervades our thoughts while we are alive. Is it rational to fear death? We do decisions subconsciously to avoid death, consciously as well, such as vaccines. You consciously make the decision to do it. What if fear was used to make people take the vaccines out of fear? What if social media and mainstream news were used to create fear across the globe? With many controversies, censorship is one of them. Censorship. Fast checks were all over social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. People will say this is to avoid false statements and not mislead others. Algorithms are used to detect keywords and take out posts or accounts. But what if it was true? In my opinion, we must be very cautious of what we believe, what is true or not. But when we were born, we did not know the right from wrong. Someone taught us. What if we were programmed in a certain way to favor the elites? 
because when we were younger, for example, we followed parents, teachers, society, religion, etc. After attending a Christian, Christian school, abortion can be an example of someone teaching me to believe what they told me to believe, because my teachers, parents, and church members taught me that pro-life is the right way and the only way. Surrounded myself with at least one of these groups, I never found time to question myself. Everyone I grew up with believed the same thing because we all had the same mindset. Then when I got to Eastern, it popped the bubble I was in because it brought me to reality. The reality where I opened my mind and saw not everyone was doctrined the same. The assignment on abortion in this class made me see how others think about abortion and other topics. While I also attended a charter school that was not religious, I saw the difference between both schools. If I disagreed, they would kick me out of school. Do I believe what I believe, or am I just taught to believe this? Okay, so today I have Mike. Devin. All right, I'm going to say yes, but I don't think it's like a simulation necessarily. I just think there's some shady stuff going on in the government, and uh, it's. I feel like it would be really easy to hide certain things because there's the people in power. Like, what would you say, like controlling type of thing? Yeah, just like hiding things that they don't want to be in the public eye because it's easy to do that when you have a big organization like the executive branch or something. Um, Loki, like about the same stuff, like corporations who may have like a lot of money can have like a lot of pull in the government and persuade people to do stuff like get paid them off and stuff like that. Okay, so today I'm here with Molly Cola. I'm Dylan. <laughs> yes. I was going to say no. Why? Well, I believe that the government has most of the power, and wh why would what would overpower them, and how would they have like the resources to overpower the government? Okay, so today we are here with Mariana. Okay, Mariana, I have a question for you. Is it reasonable to assume that we are living in a simulation that has someone or a group higher in power above everyone else, and that is simulating the mass population lives? So, in simple form, do you believe there's someone higher above controlling us? Yes. Why do you believe that? I don't know. I feel like the government has, like, someone above them, like a secret society, and, like, they control them like puppets. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I believe in the Illuminati. And, you know, there's, like, a higher society from the government, mm -hmm. you know, because there's, like, the elites or whatever. So I feel like they get a say, and then the government tries to pull a stunt. Mm -hmm to get whatever the elites want done. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Thank you. I would like to conclude this presentation with my opinion. After presenting some information and some ideas, I believe elitism exists in our world today. There's a lot of symbolism in our world that is shown to our faces. There's too many coincidences that lead to elitism. In transhumanism, when it comes to developing a next level way of thinking, we may have the same knowledge but what was programmed to our minds. But what if the person that programmed us has bad intentions for us to only benefit them? This ties into elitism. What if we are programmed by people with bad intentions to benefit the elites? Even if we are, some may say, what is the issue? What is wrong with the elite controlling our lives? This reminds me of Allegory of the Cave. The people in the uniform holding symbols say these Say these symbols represent mainstream news, CNN, Fox News, Times Magazine, etc. We watch the news, whatever the news tells us. We stay put in the cave. But what is wrong with staying in the cave? This varies to person to person. Ideally, I don't like the idea of being controlled to benefit rich, powerful people. I think how politics and religion, etc. are used to separate us. When we do separate... It divides us. Therefore, it makes us easier to control. If they do not want critical thinkers, what would this be? Harder to control, simply. Philosophy is being taken out of many schools and all over the United States. Critical thinking is a skill that is developed in subjects such as philosophy. Many successful people, such as Naval Ravikant, who encourages people to get into philosophy. Because it brings many ideas, new perspective, and can make human civilization advance. But what if getting rid of philosophy in schools is a way to not question what is happening in our world? Possibly, this is what the elites want you to believe in the system.